Hey there, crazies. If you've been following me on Twit Instabook, or you wait around for the Science Asylum end screens, you might have noticed I went traveling recently. After a huge road trip, I got to LA for VidCon. At this point, I should confess, I was so busy experiencing the events that I kind of forgot to film most of it. But I did get tons of pictures on the crappy camera on my phone. Anyway, there were technically two separate events, so this video comes to you in two parts. YouTube EDUCON! The day before VidCon was the most important day of the entire trip. A community I'm a part of called WeCreateEDU teamed up with YouTube to create YouTube EDUCON, a small conference for educational YouTubers. And it was amazing! No separation between big and small creators. Everyone was just mingling in the same space. It was everything you'd want VidCon to be. It's what VidCon used to be before things got nuts. YouTube managed the budget, the venue, and the guest list, which was invite only. There was only room for about a couple hundred people. The Weekly EDU community managed the agenda. That way we could make sure the day was as useful as possible. This is the session I was the most interested in learning from, which is why I suggested it in the first place. And because I suggested it, I was assigned to moderate the room. <sighs> the original plan was to have Adam from PBS Digital and Caitlin from Complexly at each of the two tables sharing their experiences. But I guess the universe had other plans. The session attracted so many people that we filled all the overflow seats. Table one, here's Adam. Then there's Tim from Acapella Science, Tara Sandlin from Smarter Every Day, and Michael from Socratica. Which reminds me, I need to ask him if he took any notes. Table two, here's Caitlin. Then there's Nicole Sharp from FY Fluid Dynamics, Tom Scott, Michael Stevens from Vsauce, Diana Cowern from Physics Girl, and Brian McManus from Real Engineering. It was kinda nuts, but I think I handled it okay. My main goal of the day was to just meet everyone in person. You know, networking stuff, which I think I did pretty well. Matt from PBS Space Time, Anais from Draw Curiosity, Jabril, Derek from Veritasium, Michael and Kevin from Vsauce 1 and 2, You owe me a selfie, Michael, Alex from Technicality, Emily from The Brain Scoop, Anna from Gross Science, and Science Magic Show, hooray! Destin from Smarter Every Day, Jade from Up and Adam. There were so many others I didn't even get pictures with. Hank and John Green. Even CGP Grey was there, though I didn't realize it at the time. Which, honestly, I think he would consider very successful. Anyway, I came away from it with new friends, closer old friends, this super cool bag, and some Google Cardboard thing. VidCon! We had to wear these badges, and also these stupid wristbands that you couldn't take off the entire trip. You had to sleep and shower with them and everything. Super annoying! VidCon was Thursday morning all the way through Saturday night, and I tried my best not to overwhelm my schedule with panels. I didn't even attend all the events I had planned to. See, we stayed on Michigan time pretty successfully for the entire trip. That way I could make sure I was awake as early as possible. But that also meant I went to bed super early. We didn't go to any of these evening things. Side note, VidCon involved a lot more walking than I expected. We had to walk from the hotel to the convention center, through the convention center, up an escalator, around the second floor, only to realize the creator track stuff was in some other brand new building. Then we went back down the escalator, walked to the other building, through the other building, up another escalator, and around that second floor, finally arriving 10 minutes late. But once we figured out the room numbering scheme, we were fine. We took a little time to walk around the expo hall. It was all very exciting to look at, but I didn't feel very motivated to do any of it except for maybe the inflatable obstacle course, but then the thought of germs put a stop to that. It ended on a positive note though, China complimented my wife's hair. There was a great science EDU panel. It had Destin, Vanessa, Emily, Michael, and Diana, moderated by Miriam from Hot Mess. Afterward, I got to visit with Diana a little more, and my wife got to meet Emily Grassley. Then we saw Hank and John Green. Hank went out of his way to point out the square that didn't line up with the others. And I'm gonna have to tell Duncan that the square was a little off, and Duncan's gonna be like, oh. We stuck around for Philip DeFranco, who was oddly wearing two different socks. And then we went back to the hotel, ate dinner, and fell asleep. The next day, we went to the Vsauce Q&A, which was so cool. Every seat had these little puzzles on it, which Em and I figured out before the Q&A even started. The Vsauce guys were diligently answering deep questions with deep philosophical answers. Have you guys all seen Mario Farts? We went immediately to a panel on responsibility to your audience. Then we took a lunch break because starving sucks. We came back for a panel on science storytelling. 
And I finished the day off with Wheezy Waiter, which was awesome. We were all super awkward, but so was Craig, so it was cool. And I found a random room with props in it. On Saturday, we didn't leave the hotel until the afternoon because the exhaustion was kind of starting to set in. We thought we'd go see the Rhett and Link Q&A, but it was packed. So we just took some pictures and left. After that, we went to a panel with Stevie, senior VP from Rhett and Link. She is a professional. I learned a lot from listening to this talk. I immediately had to walk from there to the YouTube EDU party. It was exclusive access. I needed a second wristband to get in. Stupid wristbands. It, it, it was pretty decent though. Crash Course Stan, Trace from Seeker, Micah from Neurotransmissions. I have no idea who this is. Grant from 3 Blue 1 Brown, Diana again, who was geeking out with Grant for days, and John Green. It was pretty cool to have special access to the YouTube lounge. But at that point, I was socially exhausted. I honestly don't think I'll do VidCon again unless I'm invited, but I would definitely do YouTube EduCon again. Maybe I can talk them into making it a two-day event next year. Anyway, I'm really upset that I don't have more pictures and video from the event because I seem to be invisible and everyone else's. This is a picture from EduCon. I'm behind this person back here somewhere. This is a screenshot from the Philly D vlog. Here's my wife. I'm somewhere behind this person. Here's another one. I'm just out of frame over here. I could go on. Hopefully I'll be in the video that YouTube eventually puts out from EduCon. We'll see. If I find anything, I'll let you know. And as usual, I'll see you in the comments. Like, 